Right. So I'm going to have uh, the same bike for the yellow car just in case. It's interesting that you don't have to have the same car. That's, that is unique. I mean, basically when you play something like F1 race or rock and roll racing, you have to have exactly the same uh, car or bike whatever it is for that level uh, go to racing menu choose or modify track load track from disk so the track date is quite small and there is a hell of a lot of tracks actually and you can go left and right on the menu, good stuff. Yeah, there's no Imola. Can't remember if it's Silverstone or Brands Hatch I want. Let's go with Silverstone. just saw a fox in the garden although I've worked out that even though I can't lift up the uh, six foot fence panels uh, you know basically six foot above my head by myself to slot them in uh, although there is a fence on the other side there's only like a, a half foot gap between my fence and the fence of the field behind me um, you can get identical fence panels that are only three foot high and I'm thinking well they weigh half as much and I might be able to lift them and I'll just put two on top of each other and uh, put a bit of white between them and uh, then they won't be uh, separate like, hey what it's doing something here Weird. it draws you in as well at the same time I don't want to press anything so I don't want to actually change anything is it loading? I don't know if it's loading something else now well the green light is on again hmm didn't do this last time there's quite a few pages in the manual anyway that comes with it. I do actually have this on disc. That's the point. I wonder where my uh, copy of Racing Destruction set is. Well the screen went blank. So I presume it is loading something. Although I don't know what. It's already loaded in the uh, track data. in the lead bike is actually quite tricky I don't think there was ever a sequel to this and all it really needs is better graphics really I mean uh, doing vertical lines like this uh, to simulate different colours and shades. The bike is quite tricky, it won't go in a straight bloody line. And yet I'm still beating him. Yeah, I mean if someone could just improve the graphics. That would be fantastic. He's catching me up. Why 
flaps. Damn it. Well, the battery light on the camera is not flashing, so we should be all right. It is a great game. It's a great early season football game. And I always say to people, you know, if you've just got the C64 full size, or you've got you've got a real C64, and some way to load in all these emulator files, then you should really play games at least roughly by the year. So, you know, 82, 83 games together, 83 and 84 games together. Like Norman Wisdom on a bike, for fuck's sake. The bikes are a bit wobbly. I'd say that. Yeah, I think I missed out with this one. I would have played this, I reckon. I'll have to check the date. I mean, if you look at the graphics on Blue Max, I mean, for fuck's sake, there's a world of difference, but I suppose they're drawing the graphics from the, the track designer. So he's only on his uh, third lap. Battery warning is flashing on the LCD for the camera now. And, and the video quality is kind of like shit because I've got the uh, curtains open. So I've got two more laps to go. I didn't really change any options and this time seems to be a lot easier uh, to stay ahead of the computer driver. But I'll probably jinx that now by saying that. Yeah, it, if this had like a graphical update, that's all, all it really needs, I reckon. You don't have to change anything else. Imagine to keep the bloody thing in a straight line. Miracle upon miracle. So he's only just started his second lap, so I'm a whole lap ahead. I'm going to lap him as well. This is more exciting than modern Formula One, for fuck's sake. And you can crash into each other, which would have been great in the uh, two player games back then. Yeah, most of these kind of games are going to be better with two players. There's, there's no two ways about it, but you know, you still would have played this after school or something. And not just because you spent all your pocket money for the last two, three weeks or whatever. I mean, your bike does seem to tram line a hell of a lot. So we have to wait for him now. Well, I can turn off the camera, but um, that plays a lot better than it looks. 
So it's kind of like Bruce Lee in that respect, I suppose. Here's a nice game. It'd be a really good two-player game. And you can make your own tracks. Won't be nice to play from tape, which is how I would have played it. Uh, that wouldn't have been fun at all. Uh, but the disc based game is actually nice. Yeah, you know, especially on the D81. Yeah, the 1581 disc drive for the uh, Commodore 64 didn't come out until the late 80s anyway, after this game. So. But yeah, I'm surprised. It looks shit, which is the reason why I didn't buy Bruce Lee. And uh, the reason why I didn't buy this really. Oh well.